<clears throat> this is how to beat people in chess. This is called rocking the bishop, just going back and forth. You see how I'm just rocking the bishop back and forth? That is helping me beat my opponent on time. My opponent is running out of time. Meanwhile, I have all the time in the world. And look, he doesn't know what to do because now he's under pressure to move quickly. You see how he's dropping down the pawns? Now I can just attack his pawns. He's moving under pressure. He got my bishop. I moved my horse. Um, my bishop is attacking. Now I can think more clearly than he can think because I rocked the bishop in the beginning and I gained time. Look, I have 46 seconds left. He's at the 30 second marker. You can easily beat your opponent on time if you just do pre-planned moves. Red, red moves indicate that they are predetermined moves and you do not lose any time. Look, he has 22 seconds. Look how fast I'm moving compared to my opponent. I have 33 seconds left. He only has 20. And now... <clears throat> I still have my queen. He lost his queen because he was moving under pressure. You have to put your opponent under pressure when you're playing bullet chess. They have to feel the pressure of losing time. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cough. He has only 10 seconds. I have 22 seconds. The underlying message in this tutorial, in this chess tutorial, is to make sure your opponent is under pressure and they cannot think clearly when they are playing chess against you because you're putting so much time pressure on them. Look, they have one second, it's over. I won via time, there it is.